Hi children, good morning everyone. Let us today we, we, we will learn some important important topics and meanings. Let us learn. So last before before the last some questions. Where we all are living? In as everybody know that at we all are living on the earth surface. It is the model of the earth. The globe is a model of the earth. The how can understand the whole part of the our earth? The, yes, for us help of for us the globe or the map. The globe or the map. So some different types. Uh, so reading maps of different kinds. Some different types of maps are there. So political maps. Some different types of maps are there. This map is the political map. Political maps are there. Different types of map. Political maps. Political map. And fiscal map. Fiscal map. Political map. And fiscal map. And uh, thematic map. Thematic map. And population map. Population map. So. Etc. So the more of those maps are in for has uh, maps. So political maps, political maps are giving. The political map shows the details about uh, boundaries of country and states and cities like a towns also and the land forms. So physical maps are showing the about the information landforms, landforms and water bodies. For example, landforms, plain, plateau, and mountains, and rivers, means oceans, seas, and rivers, that type of water bodies are showing about giving physical map. Thematic maps are giving a particular thematic map. Maps whatever representing a particular topic or theme. Suppose which area the more cultivated paddy gives the information about only one only one topic and population maps are giving distribution of population in the country so how much village and town and district like so all the given information population maps are so distribution of population so the country and the state and the cities and village like good so let's come to the what is main map? So what is main map means here? A map is a representation of a drawing, a representation or drawing of the total or a part of the earth surface. Total or a part of the earth surface. <coughs> so these maps are giving about information, the earth surface. This earth is a, a part of or total a part of. Help of for us is these different types of maps. Next, uh, contour lines. Contour lines means here, a contour lines is a line. Line joining the places, joining the places with the equal heights. With the equal heights. So this is the one more important in this chapter, contour lines. These contour lines, suppose there is one mountains is there. Mountains, mountains, and uh, village and uh, houses are there, village are there, village and lands, lands are there, and rivers are there. So everyone they have like this. These these lines, these lines are showing the these lines joining the these places. Mountain places are joining, village places are joining, rivers are playing joining, and uh, plain are joining. These all these all are equal equal heights so these heights of the measurements above the sea level about the zero degrees zero 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 meters to above the height of the village or mountains or rivers and dike dikes so zero meters zero meters to above the how much how much kilometer away height of the car physical mass so physical maps, it is the showing the natural landforms, natural features of landforms. So natural landforms means we should keep understanding. One is the plain. Plain is the 
such as a plain and a mountains mountains and a plateau plateau and the rivers etc so these all are natural landforms or natural features about giving the information is can map so plain plain which color are showing the on the map so what symbol is that how can show the colors colors so these plains are showing the colors which color green color so green color are showing the plains look at on the map physical map so that index are giving the green color showing the plain and the mountains are showing the brown color brown color so these brown color represented on the physical map is the mountains this is the himalayan mountains so like this this is plain this is the coastal plain western coastal plain and eastern coastal plain west is the west west is the arabian sea east is the bay of bengal so gujarat where you from west coast where you from west coast gujarat from gujarat to kerala from gujarat to kerala west coast and east coast where you from odisha the state of odisha where you from odisha to tamil nadu so odisha to tamil nadu these are the east coast east coast is like a east coast plain between these plain between western ghats between western ghats between western ghats and the western side eastern ghats eastern ghats and between east mountains brown color showing the plateau plateau is you know very famous our all the place one of the that can that fall on the all the place that can plateau so plateau was showing the yellow color plateau is showing the yellow color and rivers are rivers are water bodies water bodies water water bodies are showing the blue color blue color so these colors are represented on the physical map we are easy to understand the type of has these colors also next come to the scales scale is the ratio between actual distance actual distance on the ground so we cannot show the 100 km suppose from hyderabad to suppose we are traveling went to karnul karnul to hyderabad how can show the Distance on the paper or map cannot be visible on the place. That's why we should help of the scale. Suppose, Karnul, Karnul to Hyderabad. How much kilometers distance between 100 kilometer to 100 kilometers? So one centimeters. One centimeter is equal to how many kilometers? Is equal to 100 kilometers. Are you? 50 kilometers. So how, how 2 centimeters? 2 centimeters is equal to 200 kilometers. So we we are easy understand the type of water scales. That's why scale is the ratio between actual distance on the ground. So this is the actual distance is the 200 kilometers. But we are showing on the reduce on the scale we use only 2 centimeters. 2 centimeters is equal to 200 kilometers. This scale also help of us uh, easy understood the map. Sketch map. Sketch map means is imaginary and rough drawing. Imaginary and rough drawing. Rough drawing drawn without scale. Without scale. There is no measurement. There is no measurement. There is no proper uh, distance. There is no any symbols. They only use and only rough or imaginary in your mind. Suppose how can traveling on the bus, how can visit your new friends, villages or home. So we are easy, uh, like this, we are easy to the rough one. And the thematic maps also, these are maps represent a particular topic, particular topic or themes. That is, for example, minerals, crops and industries. So industries, industries. So particular topic or themes are explained only.
the thematic map. These maps are representing a particular topic or themes or so which crops are cultivated in the areas. Crops means paddy, where is there? Paddy, and Mysa, Java, like this. Minerals where are available? Coal mines, where mineral type of minerals are where are available? And uh, those type of minerals. And industries, where are the most industrial establishment in those, those, those zone of the industries? Everyone they have a particular themes and topic explain in thematic map. It's all giving information about your meanings. Map, contour line, scale, physical map, and the thematic sketch map. Here is one question. What is mean contour line? Yes. A contour, a contour is a line joining place with equal heights. With equal heights. What is mean physical map? What is mean physical map? It is showing natural landforms of the earth, such as what are there? What is the physical maps? What are the landforms are there? Means what is the plain statue? Rivers, mountains. Good. Next, what is mean scale? Scale is the ratio between actual distance in the reduced manner. Good. So these are the important question answers. What is mean thematic maps? That these maps represent a particular topic and themes. Particular topic and themes. For example, minerals where are available and where are available. Uh, windows and where are cultivated crops, crops. So these all give the information about uh, these all particular. Next come the these uh, next different kinds of uh, important maps in Harvard. So these maps were how can you understand it? How, what is the different uh, kinds of maps uh, tell, tell us about? Different kinds of different kinds of different kinds of map maps. has about different kinds of maps tell us about so first one how high how how high or low the places of are how how the high or low the places the places places are next how much it rains there how much it rains there how much how much it's rain there. How much is rain? How much is rain there? How hot or cold it gets there? How? How? Hot or cold? How hot or cold it gets there? It, it gets. There. Gets there. Next. Crafts that grow there. Crafts that grow there. Crafts that grow grow there. What kinds of forests are there? One more. What kinds of what kinds of forest there?
Say, how do you understand you? Different kinds of maths tell us about one is the different types of maths means that political maths, physical maths, mathematical maths, survey maps, and thematic maps, and uh, physical uh, magnetic maps, magnetic maps, survey maps. So, so these type of maps are showing the how the high and low the places are. These are two types of explaining high and low lands. Plain produce that mountains. Mountain is very high. Plain is very low or at surface. So how can you study this help of the maps? How much is rain there? Some places how much rain they are received? And help of this different kinds of maps. How hot and cold? Suppose which place very hot, which place very, which place is very cold. How can you understand it of the one of the map? Suppose our India is the uh, Thar Desert is there. Thar Desert is very hot places. And cold is the cold in the more near the mountain places. Who are living the near the upper places and near the mountain places, very cold places. And uh, crops that grow there. The crops that grow there, which type of crops? Are the apple fruits is there. Only few places are cultivated, some types of crops. So that places a representative help of the map also. Next, uh, what kinds of forest there? Suppose evergreen forest is there, and thorn forest, evergreen forest, and this type of forest where are grown? So this type of information about giving the these map, these maps. So for example, evergreen forest in western got in Karnataka. So Karnataka state have evergreen forest. Karnataka state Karnataka state evergreen forest in western Ghats. So how can you say western Ghats? Yes, suppose see western Ghats. This is the western Ghats. Western Ghats between West, these western guards in Karnataka. This is the Karnataka. So, Karnataka state have every green forest. Every green forest. So, these forests, where is they located in the western guards? And this is the western guards in Karnataka state. And uh, in uh, one beach church is there here. Ramakrishna beach in Vishakapatnam. Vishakapatnam in Ramakrishna beach and oasis in desert. Star desert also have you, but one of the most important, uh, the largest desert in the world, largest desert in the world, the Sahar desert. Sahar desert, where is there in Africa continent? And this desert is also one oasis, oasis in Africa. And uh, highest covered continent is there. Highest covered continent is the Antarctica. Ice cotton is the Antarctica. Total, how many, how many continents are there? How many continents are there? How many continents are there? Means seven continents. This is the near the South Pole. Near the South Pole, this is the Antarctica. Antarctica continent. This continent is covered highs. So these are the so we live. The world we live in so full variety. So some places very cold places are there, some places very hot places are there, some places very high, some places very low places are there, and some some places so only some crops are cultivated and fruits also, and only few places also have only evergreen yeah, forest, thorn forest, and the beaches and lakes, rivers, and only this part of the covered with the highest that is our continent. Antarctica continent. That's so that's why the world we live in is so full of variety. Mountains, hills, seas, coast, deserts and forest as ice snow covers regions also. That's why to study and understand these questions, we need to take the help of the maps different kinds. So the help of the this type of these type of questions where we easy understand you, the help of the this type of these different types of maps help of our us. That is fine. Next, here is one question. Where is there every forest?
highest in our India. Yes, where is the Karnataka state? In our Karnataka state, have the little forest. Where is the Ramakrishna beach? Where is the Ramakrishna beach? In Vishakhapatnam. Now, our other place in Vishakhapatnam, every Ramakrishna beach. One more question. Which continent covers it? Covers it highest? Yes, that is Antarctica continent. Antarctica continent covered with highs. Right. How many types of landforms are there? How many types of landforms are there? Anybody? Yes. Yes. What are there? Yes. Plain, plateau, mountains, and rivers, so etc. This type of landforms, natural landforms are there. Natural landforms are there. Next, come to the <coughs> So directions, how can you understand the directions and symbols? Directions and symbols. Directions. So these directions, how can you understand you? The directions, the major, main directions for what is the what is the north north but quite opposite in the bottom south south and right side right side is the east and west side is the left side is the west so this one also easy understood to apply the map. So top top is the north map of the top map of the top is the north map of the bottom and tip bottom 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 is south bottom is south and right side right right is the west. Left is the west. Left is the west. See. So this is the this is the main four directions: north, south, west, and east. These are called the cardinal directions. And some some Directions, sub directions. How can you understand sub directions? Directions, sub directions. See, sub direction. The main two directions, the main two directions, north and west. The main two directions, north and south, lie between, lie between north, north, west, north, west. Next, the Main two directions, north and east, bit lies lies between north, north, east, north, east. The main two directions, south and east, lie between south, south, east, south, east. Next, the the two main directions, the two main directions, south and west, lie lies between southwest, southwest. This four is the sub divisions or sub directions. So these directions help up for us accurate places. And how can it? Suppose we are traveling. Suppose Krishna Reddy went to Bhopal. From Hyderabad, in which direction did he travel? Which direction he travel? Suppose where is there Bhopal? Where is there Bhopal? Where is he understand that?
Krishna Reddy went to Bhopal from Hyderabad. So Hyderabad where is there? Here is there. Where is there Bhopal? Which is the capital of Uttar Pradesh? Lucknow. Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh. So which direction? The Bhopal went to Bhopal from Hyderabad. In which direction? Is the driver means like a upper, upper is the north direction. Next. Asa went to Chennai from Lucknow. Lucknow. Lucknow from Chennai. Where is the Chennai? Like this. This is the Chennai. So he 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 he, 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 he traveled from Lucknow to Chennai. He traveled from south. South. He traveled from south. Thus, these directions help of our husband. In, in which direction we are traveling on the air or bus or vehicles, we are easy to understand the help of the directions. Good. So, listen. One more question. Suppose, okay, where is there Hamravati near Guntur district Hamravati? Where is then Gujarat? Ramu went to Gujarat from Gujarat. Ramu went to Amravati. Ramu went to Amravati from Gujarat. In which direction did he travel? In which direction did he travel? So he 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 is traveling from from Gujarat to where to? Amravati. So he traveled from the eastern side, east. Ramu went to Amravati from. Gujarat. In which direction did he travel means east. East. So this type of question and this type of information about the, the this type of direction is also improper has. Next. Suppose the colors, symbols. Symbol to symbols means sir. A sign of conventional, sign of conventional, these symbols help of our husband, uh, easy understand. Suppose where is there? Taj Mahal in Delhi. You cannot construct on uh, real places, you cannot show on the real in the places. So these symbols help of our husband, like this, this, this temple, these are the temples, symbols. Suppose this is the church, this type of symbols are showing the church, like this, this is the church. This type of this type of uh, symbols are showing the this type of symbols are showing the this is the this is the yes everybody know this is the temple so like this 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 type of the help of the or has like this this is the mass or masjid help of us. These are the conventional symbols. Conventional symbols. Hey, thank you. You should keep in mind. You should learn today homework. How many directions are there? What are there? How many directions are there? What are there? How many directions are there? What are there? Today homework.
children means some important means and one time you should practice one time this is the three of the class thank you very much కరెక్ట్ ముప్పై ఒకటి నిమిషాలకు వచ్చిన తర్వాత నీకు వెళ్ళేసి ఉండలేదు